completing the square. So this is a square. I have x squared. That shape represents x being squared. I have four x's. One x, two x, three x, and four x's. So what is it gonna take to fill in the square? Well, a one, two, three, and four little ones. If you do algebra tiles, you know what I'm saying. I completed the square. I filled in the leftover blue with four little boxes. That's what we're doing today, but algebraically. Um, this video is all about prior knowledge, like things that you need to know to lead up to completing the square. We are gonna complete the square at the end, but most of this video is just what are the skills that you need to take with you so that you'll be able to be successful at completing the square. And then maybe I'll make a, another completing the square video at some other time. Okay, Lego. Math with Miss B. Math with Miss B. There's a thousand other places that you'd rather be. But you're watching Math with Miss B. So complete the square prior knowledge. Multiply the expression. So if I have x minus 5, quantity squared, that's x minus 5 times x minus 5, and I get x squared minus 10x plus 25. If I do 3x plus 5 squared, so 3x plus 5 times 3x plus 5, what are you going to get? Do it on your own. Pause the video. Um, you're going to get 9x squared plus 30x plus 25. Very good, honey, very good. Uh, that was a little tab with the brown. <laughs> it's like I got my little tab, my little Donna fro out. You know what I'm saying? Anyway. <laughs> I'd be a mess. Anyway, factor the expression. Well, if you factor the first one, find two numbers that multiply to give you 81, add to give you negative 18. X minus nine squared, because it's X minus nine and then X minus nine. Um, and then this one's gonna be four X plus three times four X plus three or four X plus three squared, okay? So basically, um, what you notice is that when I factor these, I get a squared. Well, do you notice anything about the relationships between the numbers and the answers and the problem? Okay, um, those are perfect square trinomials, guys. We, when we learn to factor, we learn about perfect square trinomials, and the reason why we teach them is so that when we get to this lesson right here, that you know what they was looking like. Okay, so um, we are going to take what we know about perfect square trinomials, and we are going to help that let us complete the square. So. Do you notice anything about the relationships between the numbers in the answer and the numbers in the problem? Well, that 36 in the orange problem, when I take the square root of 36, it is six. That number, that, um, that 12, okay, is uh, half of that number is gonna be six. So if I take half of the middle number, so half of 12 of six, and I square it, I get 36. Same thing for the blue. If I take half the middle number, eight divided by two is four. I, and then I square it, four squared is 16. That's how I get that number. You need that knowledge. Take half the middle number and then square it. That's gonna give you the last number. So complete the square for me, please, ladies and gentlemen. What is the middle number? 14, what do you wanna do with that 14? Take half of it, great, seven. Then what do you do? Square it, seven squared is 49. We're gonna do the visuals, y'all don't like these, but it's cool. What would it take to complete the square? 49 little boxes, 49 orange squares. That's my answer, 49. Try that next one on your own. What is What number do I use to fill in the blank? Okay, um, so half of 10 is five. Five squared is 25, very good. So this is the X squared, that black box is X squared. And I have 10 X's, so that means I'm gonna put five on one side. And I'm gonna put five on the other side. And what's left is 25 spaces. That's visual. For my visual learners out there. Okay, I have x squared minus four x plus, well, take four divided by two, square it, four. So I have the x squared is the black box. I have negative four x's, so I'm gonna put four on one side, four on the other side, and to fill in that little blue space, what do I need? How many orange uh, blocks do I need to put there? It, it would be four. Now this one is tricky. So you have to take half of three, which is 1.5, good. And I have to square it, 2.25. It's the same thing. Just because the number doesn't come out whole doesn't mean you still can't use it. 
tricky, tricky, tricky. Okay, so we're making a rule. When completing the square, how do you find the C value? Oh, why did I do that? You take half of B and then square it. That's what we've been doing this whole time, right? So that's skill number one, figuring out the C value. Pause. Keep that in your brain because we're going to move on to a new skill now. The square root of 45. Yes. Okay, you got to be able to simplify square roots. So with the square root of 45, I need to find two factors of 45. In this case, I'm going to pick 9 times 5, and then I'm going to split apart 9 into 3 times 3. But because it's a square root, I'm looking for doubles. So square, doubles. For every double that I find, I bring one on the outside and leave everything without a double on the inside. So 3 square root of 5 is the square root of 45 simplified. Boom! We're going to do the same thing with 72. I need two factors of 72. Somebody tell me something. <laughs> okay, um, 9 times 8, you could have picked 2 and 36. You could have picked a lot of things. Um, so 9 times 8, so I'm going to split apart my 9 into 3 times 3, split apart my 8 into 4 times 2. That 4 still needs to be broken apart to its prime factorization, so I'm going to bring down the 3 and the 3. The 4 turns into 2 and 2, and then that other 2 comes down also. Remember, we're looking for doubles because it's a square root, so that means 2. So I have a double with my 3, a double with my 2, and then that lonely 2 out there. Everything with a double comes outside, 3 times 2, and then everything without a double stays inside the square root. So on the outside, 3 times 2 equals 6, so 6 square root of 2. Try this one on your own. Do, 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 do. Okay. Um, three times four. Uh, you could have done two and six too. You get the same answer. So three. So four is going to be split apart to two times two. I'm looking for doubles. So that's going to be two times two. Everything with a double comes outside. Without a double, stays inside. Without a double. Stays inside. Um, so I'm gonna let you try some on your own. All right, try these on your own. Three minutes. Minute three, last minute. I wonder if that 96 is getting y'all. Move on from it. Time. Okay, um, so you have 3 square root of 2, 2 square root of 5, 4 square root of 6, 12, 5 square root of 5, 2 square root of 2, 10 square root of 10, and square root of 15. 
10 square root of 10. Did I say that? Square root of 10 and then just 10. Square root of 10 can't be simplified, so you leave it alone. The square root of 100 is 10. You knew that before we started doing all this nonsense. Um, so just, hello, pay attention. Anyway, so that is skill number two. And now this is skill number three that we are learning. And we're going to need all of these skills to be able to complete the square root. Complete the square. Yeah. <laughs> Woo, ciao. This video is exhausting me, but it's okay. We're going to get through. All right. So let's say I want to solve by square root. So remember that when you solve by square root, you need a plus and a minus. So x squared equals 9. So I'm going to take the square root of x squared to square root of 9, and I'm going to get x equals plus or minus 3. Always remember the plus and the minus. People, people, people. Anyway, uh, 2x squared equals 32. Divide by 2 first. Then it's x squared equals 16, so now you're going to take the square root of both sides. x equals plus or minus 4. Okay? So 4x squared plus 11 equals 59. I'm going to get rid of the 11 first, so minus 11 minus 11. 4x squared equals 48. I'm going to divide by 4, divide by 4. x squared equals 12. And then x squared equals plus or minus 12 because anytime I take the square root I do the plus or the minus but I have to simplify the square root of 12 if you look back in your notes we already simplified the square root of 12 so you should have that answer on your paper somewhere already so x equals plus or minus 2 square root of 3 okay um, 4x squared minus 20 equals 5 plus 20 plus 20 4x squared equals 25 divide by 4 divide by 4 x squared equals 25 over 4 I'm going to take the square root, but that's a fraction. Oh, no! All you have to do, ladies and gentlemen, is take the square root of 25 and take the square root of 4, plus or minus 5 over 2. Sometimes we make that a lot more complicated than it needs to be. Okay? Okay. All right. Um, so this one, the squared is in, there's parentheses, and the squared is on the outside. So we're going to get rid of the square first. Square root, square root. Um, so I'm going to have 2x minus 2 equals plus or minus the square root of 72. Don't forget your plus and your minus, right? So now I'm going to get rid of that 2, plus 2, plus 2. But this is tricky because I can't say 72 plus 2 and make it 74. Because square roots and regular numbers are not like terms. So I'm going to do, I'm going to put it right in front of the, the plus and minus. And then I'm going to divide by 2. I'm going to divide that whole thing on the other side by 2. So my answer is going to be x equals 2 plus or minus the square root of 72 over 2. Yay! Uh, do I simplify this, though? I think I do. Yes, I do. Okay, just making sure. So same answer. Um, what we are going to do is simplify the square root of 72. I think we did this one already also, so you should have the answer to that. Um, and that's going to be 6 square root of 2. So all I did from this top step to the second step is change the square root of 72 into 6 square root of 2. So I simplified it. Um, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to do 2 divided by 2. So pink divided by orange. And then 6 divided by 2. Because now that that 6 is not under the radical anymore, I can they're like terms. So 1 plus or minus 3 square root of 2. So that's skill 3 in a nutshell, right? So skill 1 was how do I find that C value, right? Like take half of B, square it. That's how I find that C value. Skill number 2 is simplifying square roots. We got to make sure that we know how to do that. Um, and then skill number 3 is solving an equation by square roots. I need all of these things to be able to complete the square. So I think we do two examples um, of completing the square just so that we can combine all the skills. So let's say I have a problem that says x squared minus 12x minus 2, right? Um, in a problem like this, uh, what I'm going to do first is I'm going to insert some blanks, okay? So I need to create spaces. So that's the C value. So that's the first skill that we learned. How do we find the C value? Well, I take the B value, which is negative 12 in this case. I take it, I cut it in half. So negative 12 divided by 2 is negative 6. And then I square the 6, and I'm going to get 36. Good. So because now we're working in an equation, remember in an equation you have to keep everything balanced. So if I do something on one side, I 
have to do it to the other. So if I add 36 on one side, I must add 36 to the other side. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna factor x squared minus 12x plus 36. I'm gonna pretend like, I can, like it's its own trinomial. So I'm gonna find two numbers that multiply to give me 36 and add to give me 12. It's gonna be six, right? So I'm gonna get x minus six times x minus six, which is really x minus six squared. And then negative two plus 36 is 34. I just did a lot in that one step, so I'm gonna give you a minute. <laughs> okay, so I factored the trinomial on the left-hand side of the equal sign, and that gave me x minus six quantity squared. That's how I got that. And then negative two plus 36 is 34 on the right-hand side. That's how I got that, okay? Now that I factored it, now I can solve by square root. So I'm just gonna go ahead, that's the third skill that we learned, solving by square roots, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and take square root of one side, take square root of the other side. I'm gonna get x minus six equals plus or minus, because remember when you take the square root, you have to do plus or minus, plus or minus the square root of 34. I'm gonna get rid of the six, plus six, plus six. I cannot say six plus 34 and make it 40, right? They're not like terms. So the six has to just go in front of the plus or minus. Um, and that's my answer. Six plus or minus the square root of 34. Bada bing, bada boom, baby. That's how you complete the square in a nutshell. Okay, um, slide 16 of 19, let's go. Okay, so for this problem, I do not want an A value. So X squared, there's a three in front of it. I'm gonna get rid of that three by dividing everything by three. So I'm gonna get x squared plus six x plus blank equals 45, or 45 divided by three, which is 15, plus blank. Remember to put plus blank on both sides. So now we're back just like the first problem that we did. Once we get rid of that a value, now it's just like the first problem, right? So I'm gonna fill in the c value. Remember, that's the first skill that we learned. Take the b value, cut it in half. Six in half is three. Um, square it, nine. If I do it on one side, I have to do it to the other. Good, yes, good. <laughs> I'm gonna factor the left side. X squared plus six X plus nine, factor that. So it's X plus three quantity squared. Good, and then 15 plus nine is 24. Yay! We good? So now that it's a, a, a problem I can solve by square root, so I'm gonna take the square root one side, take the square root of the other side, I'm gonna get x plus three equals plus or minus the square root of 24. I'm gonna get rid of the three, so minus three, minus three. Remember, I can't combine those, the three, the three. I can't say 24 minus three. I have to just put that negative three, that minus three in front of the plus and the minus, in front of the plus and the minus. And then I'm gonna simplify the radical. So this is skill number two. We didn't use this in the last example because the radical didn't need to be simplified. But 24 can be simplified. Might be on your paper. I can't remember if we did this one or not already. And um, yeah. Negative three plus or minus two square root of six. That is your final answer. We're gonna do one more. I'm gonna let you do it. See if you could do it on your own. I should have put a timer, but I didn't. On your own, actually, you can't do this on your own. Just kidding, I gotta do it. Um, first of all, there's an A value, so I'm gonna get rid of that, three. I'm gonna get x squared minus eight x minus nine equals zero. Now, usually there's nothing behind the eight x, so to make it look like the other problems that we just did, I'm gonna go ahead and plus nine on both sides. So move that nine to the other side. It was negative, now it's positive. And I'm gonna add my blanks, plus blank, plus blank. What goes in the blank? Good. Half of B is four. Four squared is 16. If I do it on one side, we have to do it to the other. Good. So 16 on the other side. Now I'm going to factor. Factor that trinomial, baby. So X minus four squared equals 25. Doop. Doop. So I'm gonna get x minus four equals plus or minus the square root of 25. Plus four, plus four, don't say 25 plus four, don't do it, okay? X equals four plus or minus the square root of 25. Now, what is the square root of 25, y'all? You notice, it's five. 
So I'm going to say 4 plus or minus 5. So what's 4 plus 5? 9. What's 4 minus 5? Negative 1. Those are my answers. Negative 1, comma, 9. That is completing the square, y'all. I know it's a lot of skills, a lot of content. It's cool. Just practice. Go back to the video. See if you can do the problems without my help. Like I keep saying. And if not, I will catch you in the next one. <laughs> Bye, guys.